Welcome to this QuickBooks 2021 tutorial for beginners on how to use class tracking in QuickBooks. My name is Matt Hulquist with the QuickBooks University. So if you're not familiar with class tracking, it can be a fantastic tool to uh, separate uh, transactions within QuickBooks. So it could be invoices, sales receipts, or expenses, or bills, or whatever it is. Uh, you basically separate those out between divisions within your business, okay? And so if you have uh, different uh, divisions, let's say it's construction and you have commercial and residential, uh, you could break those out so that you can see a profit and loss in a balance sheet by class and see how each of those divisions is doing. Or it could be, uh, let's say, um, a company that has, you know, a retail store plus uh, they do some services. You know, you could break it out between the retail store and the services. Uh, for example, in my business, we have accounting services and tax services, uh, as well as some other services. And we have broken those broken out in classes within QuickBooks so that we can allocate all our revenue, all our expenses between those different classes and see how each of those businesses is doing. Okay. And this is important because then you can make decisions based on, you know, if this, you know, particular line of business is not doing so well, maybe you need to raise prices, maybe you need to cut expenses, you know, maybe there's some decision that you have to make. And by using class tracking, this is going to allow you to effectively make those decisions. So let me show you an example here of a profit and loss uh, on uh, by class. Okay. So you can see here, this is a sample company file and they've got it broken out between new construction, remodel and overhead. Now they have someone classified, which is going to show you that some of these transactions are not classified between some of these uh, different classes. Okay. So new construction, remodel and overhead, and you'll see they've got the income and then they've got the expenses. Now they have allocated all these expenses to overhead because these are overhead and it looks like just their cost of goods sold job expenses are allocated to the new construction and remodel. So by setting up class tracking in QuickBooks and assigning transactions to these classes, this will allow you to be able to see uh, the profitability of each of these businesses. Okay, now the first thing you want to do in your QuickBooks file is you want to go up to edit and go down to preferences. All right, so you're going to see all these different options over here. You're going to keep it on accounting and you're going to go over to company preferences and you're going to see an option here, use class tracking. Okay, so if that's not checked, you want to make sure you check that. And it's going to default, say, prompts to assign classes, which means that if you record a transaction and you don't assign a class, QuickBooks will tell you, hey, do you want to assign a class to this transaction? And that's just a good reminder so that if you are using class tracking, because it's important to classify every single transaction in QuickBooks to get the most accurate information, this, this will be just a little bit uh, of a reminder. So I always tell people, just, just leave that on to remind you to do it. Okay. Because otherwise you're going to get a profit and loss like this with some unclassified transactions and it's going to throw off your P&L. Okay. All right, so you go to preferences, you turn that on, and now what you're gonna see, uh, let's say we go to a, a bill. We're gonna go to vendors and enter bills uh, as an example, and I'll show you a couple other examples. Okay, so we have the bill screen, you're gonna see the vendor, the date, the amount, et cetera, the account, and over here on the far right, you're gonna see class, and you're gonna see the different classes uh, that you can set up here, or that you can choose from here. Now. If you need to add a new class, you can see there that you've got this option here. So you can just simply set up a new class right here. And I'll talk about subclass in just a minute. We can cancel this. But we can also go over to uh, the list drop down menu here. Okay, and you can see class list. So if you know what your classes are going to be, then from the start, I always recommend kind of writing out what your classes are going to be. You can uh, go ahead and set them up here and you can go down here just by saying class new, you can edit, you can delete, etc. Okay. So now let's talk about uh, quickly and then we'll go through a couple transactions. Let's talk about subclasses. Okay. So let's say that you have, uh, you know, two divisions, two main divisions. I know we've got overhead, but let's say remodel and new construction. Okay, and we want to um, put a residential and commercial under new construction. 
Okay, so what we're going to do, you can either go down here and choose class and new, or you can simply right click and say new. And we're going to say residential, and we're going to make this a subclass of new construction. That's it. All right, we say okay. So you'll see it puts it like an indented there under new construction. And then if we want to also add commercial, say subclass of new construction. Okay, so now you'll see you'll have both of these. Now, let me point out something very, very important here. It's, it's important to think through on the front end the structure of your classes and subclasses. Okay, now I say that because if you have an existing QuickBooks file, you're going to have to go through and classify all the different transactions in QuickBooks if you want to see past information. If you're just starting your QuickBooks file and you're doing class tracking, it's much simpler because you can start from the beginning. But let's say that you get a year or two into this and you have all your classes set up and you say, you know what, I don't know, I, you could change the name of this and it'll be fine. But if you uh, all of a sudden just made this inactive or deleted it, there's going to be a problem with that because you've already classified stuff to this class residential. OK, so it's very, very important to think about on the front end how you want to set this up. All right. So let's go through a couple transactions you saw over here the enter bills. Uh, we could say that, you know, we're going to say Bank of any city, you know, I'll make up uh, some simple transactions here, 5236. Um, we're going to call this just interest expense. Okay, and we're not putting it to a, uh, a customer, but we're going to say new construction commercial. Okay, hit save and close. The other one doesn't have a class. This is the reminder I was talking about that says these have not been assigned a class. So I'm going to say, okay, cancel that. We're going to also put this to new construction commercial. Okay. So we hit save and close and there we go. All right. So now let's say that we are going to create an invoice. All right. We want to go create an invoice. We're going to pick uh, Renee Barley repairs and up here, we're going to choose the class. We're going to say this is, we'll say it's new construction remodel, or I'm sorry, residential, because let's say this is warranty work and we need to go in. It's not remodel, but it's new construction residential. Okay. So now we're going to choose our item that we're going to be invoicing for, and we're going to say concrete slab, and we will say uh, two hours of work, let's say at $55 an hour, $110. There's no sales tax. Uh, so we hit save and close. Okay. All right. So now let's see what that does. And now you, again, you know, you do this for basically every transaction. You've got customers, you've got create estimates, uh, you've got class up here. Um, if you go to banking, uh, write checks. Okay. Uh, we have a class all the way over here. All right. So it's literally assigning a class to every single transaction you have in QuickBooks. All right. So if we go over to the profit and loss, and we say, okay, um, we have, let's say that this is last fiscal year, and I'm going to change this date through this year because those transactions just happened. Okay. So now you can see that we have uh, commercial new construction, residential new construction, new construction other, but you can see the $110 that I have here. Okay. That was for the concrete labor. All right, and we should have an expense down here, loan interest 5236. All right, so you can see that it breaks down the subclasses and then it gives you total new construction. Okay, so this is just a basic intro to, um, to class tracking. I think it's very, very important if you have, again, these multiple areas or divisions or, you know, whatever within your business to break this down so that you can truly see how well each division of the business uh, is performing. Any questions, any comments, please feel free to leave those below. Uh, also, if this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you soon.